In this video, I'm going to show you the powerful timeline editor that is within the Doodle Maker. Now, as with every kind of application that creates videos, Doodle Maker also has a flexible editing system where you can make sure you decide what appears first, what appears second, and how do they all merge together, and how do you layer things, and so on. So for instance, this particular slide, let's preview it and let me show you what are all the things that we can edit here. No matter your question, we have the answers. That was pretty quick, but you got the idea here. So all I need to do is I need to select any one of these elements. Let's say I select this question uh, element icons and doodle assets here. Then it opens up a new element here called, as you see here, new feature, timeline settings. This is critical. What you can do here, by default, they're locked. So you can unlock them so that you can decide which one to be first, which one to be second, and so on and so forth. So let me unlock it, we'll click on that. It's gonna say, are you sure? Unlock the timeline, we'll reset time offsets if there are any and so on, you just unlock it. And then now here, I can decide which one to go first, which one to go second, and so on and so forth. For instance, I don't want it to write this no matter what your question part first. I wanted this question, uh, you know, this doubtful character uh, here, asset here, and then I wanna put her first, and then I wanna have that writing done, and then if you have any other questions part, the fourth, which is this, we have the answers. That, if let's say I want it to appear after this particular element is drawn, well, that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna make sure this one goes to fourth, and then we completely change the timeline as you can see here. So that's how you can quickly and easily change things over. And if I now preview the same thing. No matter your question, we have the answers. You saw that. So we completely changed how we have our timeline set on which to draw first, which to draw second, and so on. The other cool element here, which is useful, is this. You can add layers for multiple elements. So for instance, if you see this part right here, these are two different doodle assets. So for instance, if you see this, we have the chef here, as well as, as you can see here, the cupcake. So these are two elements that I've merged together. So this can be done using, first of all, the media library option, okay? So we go back and I'll show you that. We go to the media library and we can get all these icons and so on and so forth like so. Let's do a deep dive of the editor in the timeline itself. So what you can do here, when you click any one of these assets and doodles, what will happen is you'll open up a timeline settings tab like so. And it's by default locked. And when it is locked, you have a capability that is not available when it's unlocked. What do I mean by that? So for example, when I click unlock, the only options that I have is ordering which one would go first, which one would appear first, which one would appear second, and so on and so forth. If I go back and lock it, watch what happens. It ha opens up these elements here, such as keep displayed, set a display time, and so on. What this means is I could hide this after the drawing is shown. This means sometimes, let's say you want to have one thing on top of each other. You want this cupcake to be hidden, and you want this actually shown ahead of it, the chef on top of it, that's possible. Or let's say you want the whole elementary display like what we've done here, we can do that as well. And you can set the display time. And if it is zero, it's gonna be displayed throughout the video. And if it is a certain set amount of seconds, it'll only be displayed up until that point, And then you can hide it as well, okay? So that allows you, for instance, say you wanted to draw this cake and then to hide it so that you can go to the next element and then you can draw that and then hide it so you can draw another element and you want everything centered like so, you can do that as well. So that's the other flexibility that's very powerful because by setting the delays, you control what to be shown for how long it's to be shown and if you want it to even be shown forever throughout the slide or you want it to actually be hidden as soon as it is shown for a second, two seconds, three seconds, however long you decide to set that display time here. Okay, so that the timeline would work perfectly and in sync with what you're trying to do. So for instance, 
Let's say I want this to be appearing for one second and then immediately after that it's hidden. Then I want to automatically have this appear three seconds in, I can do that. I want this to appear six seconds in, I can do that and so on and so forth. Gives that flexibility to change things around. By default, majority of the time, you may not need to do that, but in some advanced cases, you have that flexibility to make sure that you can have some things hidden and show on top of it and layer things around the way. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how to also go a step further and you see how I put the layering here where the chef is on top of the cupcake, how we can change different elements here and customize it even further. What you can do on top of that is you can change the layers of each part of the process. So for instance, let me recreate this. So I go into Jump Story and this is where I got the particular character from. So now there is this character. So let's say I want to send her back and the cupcake forward, I just click send backwards. You see how the cupcake is forward now? And if I really cover it, you'll understand what I mean, right? So now if we want to make that cupcake go backwards, just press send backwards and now we have the chef like so. So this is how you can play around with it. And now you can add tables, you can add chairs, you can add, for example, different assets in front of it to give that extra layering to your actual character. So that means, let's say you wanted to show somebody working in front of a laptop or a computer, you can do that as well. Or you can, let's say a chef, for example, you want uh, the chef to be in front of this cupcake example, or you want it to be in front of a building, you can do that. So for example, I can go in, I can type in a building, and I could actually get that building to work with a layer. So for instance, all right, so let's say this one looks nice. So let's say this is some castle theme, right? So we wanted to use this and we wanted the chef to be within this. So let's say we'll make her smaller here and we can now play around. So let's say I make this into the option like so, make it slightly smaller actually so that it can fit in this timeline just for example purposes. So if I wanted to send her forward, I just click the send forward button and then now she's forward. Pretty cool. And then you can have her here. And then now you see how you created multiple doodle assets to come together and it adds that extra layering effect. It looks really beautiful as well. So that is how you can edit the timeline throughout making sure what appears first, what appears second and so on. Secondly, you can add your own characters and so on so that you can bring two or three different things together and layer them together. And you can also have the transitions being changed here and the speed of those transitions, like one second in, two second in, and so on and so forth, so that you can actually make sure something speeded up, something slowed down, and so on and so forth. That concludes our training on exactly how to edit the timeline as well as how to edit layers and add more transitions and send elements backwards, forwards to create a really good scene so that you can have more explainer style videos made as well. So thanks for watching.